not long theater hey theater but no we have i haven't been live long i just i literally just pulled up for like a few minutes i really just been chilling but no i just wanted to um catch up with everybody and just fill them in on everything um while we got a little bit of a good transit with this mercury retrograde but no i have not been live long i've literally been live for like a few minutes and i really was just clicking on the keyboard but no i just want to fill every everyone in on what's been going on on top of that um just letting people know what's going to be going on with the channel since you know people going to jail apparently so um just filling people in on like how i'm going to be doing stuff and what's going on with going to be going on with this channel and the patreon <laughs> so no i'm just like filling people in i actually like am working on a stream and some notes um and some worksheets and stuff for patreon um we're going to be discussing our um saturn cycle in combination with venus and mars um because i know people who are scared of saturn but saturn can give some good stuff too especially with saturn being in pisces these next couple years so then we're gonna i'm gonna have some stuff for people to compare and contrast their um saturnian experiences through the years so people can make the best of saturn and um venus this year and also mars hey steve but yeah that's what i've I mostly been doing um and just working on people's like packages and stuff like that and doing readings for y'all i'm also here to also tell people about pay what you can for people who you know need that service they can you know take advantage of it but yeah that and just catching up that's pretty much it you know and just seeing how people holding up with um all of this stuff going on y'all actually should have had like a pretty good day today in spite of the retrograde um y'all really should have had some like more clarity or more direction because i already like i had wrote some notes on this retrograde and like people already have like a lot of confusion and like what made so much sense in march with like the sense of direction of what people wanted to do it's like so hazy and confusing now and today should have been some type of clarity where people certain things just started to make sense for people or like things starting to line back up and giving people a sense of direction of where to go and what to do you know um <laughs> okay steve <laughs> conference call okay um not a problem <laughs> but yeah it's things should have made so much more sense today versus like other days where it just did not make any sense at all um so it's just been a lot of good energy especially with all of the stuff hitting rahu and chiron so the people dealing with like wounds people dealing with um issues with their fathers siblings um self-esteem possibly even being verbally attacked people people feel like they're getting attacked for who they are you know and really overcoming like the the wounds and stuff that people have and like their identity and how they feel about themselves and also um their belief systems too so I definitely see that but yeah no I'm definitely going to be doing a stream coming up soon on Saturn um, Venus and Mars and comparing it to like other times with Saturn and Mars um, more conjuncting in other signs because this is in Pisces and I know people feel like Pisces is like confusing and people get lost in it all the time but really Pisces is really about your belief system and what you actually believe in and if you believe in yourself I know people don't like want to see it that way, but it's true. You know, what do you believe in? It's like almost like ephemeral forces and stuff like that that can trap you. And so like poor self-esteem can trap you. Um, having a lack of direction or lack of faith in life can trap you. So honestly, people should have been, realistically, these retrogrades should not have been that bad because the sun is strong in Aries. Even though Rahu is there giving like a split of confusion about you know whether you should be yourself be honest or use underhanded means with some of the antics and processing times when you possibly have used underhanded means or if you have said something or done something that you might not have been proud of or you've been in situations where maybe you didn't like defend yourself how you should maybe that is also reverberating you know in your head but also you should be able to like rethink of also how to solve problems that you also been trying to work on so i also see that too because like rahu and aries give people solutions to problems and with mercury and aries it helps to create like a quick understanding of what to do 
But when these rulers go into Pisces, it's less about logic or linear thinking. It's more about less about praise, less about logic, um, less a, a less sense of direction. It actually is more about belief system, charity. You might not even get the praise you thought you was going to get. Um, it also sometimes be about gossip, real talk. That's why I tell people to keep their business to themselves with some of these transits. Um, gossip or people trying to burden you with their stuff, you know, or becoming the target of someone's underhanded scheme. You know, so that could have been coming up lately too. Be more a shaman. I mean, I have to t talk these ways with people because people were having like real experiences with these things. So I don't want to like speak in a way that's like so detached. And I'm like, no, people be getting effed up out here and then they hit my line. Like, it'd be, it be, like, bad. Sometimes people be uh getting wrecked across the coast. So, hey, village. But, yeah, I will be working on that on Patreon and some worksheets. And I'm also going to be working on two big ones for the Eclipse. That's just going to be for Patreon about how they're going to work the energy. And I'm going to make something that's going to be for the next six months with the lunations, which is, like, full moons, new moons, those cycles. That's just going to be on Patreon. And I want to have a separate stream where we work through that because like having like regular full moon new moon stuff is cool but all that pre-planning and i need to be left by this month so that i can get over here that's going to be on like patreon because on my patreon i usually do like a lot of worksheets for people so they can like they understand what's happening what the planets are doing the psychology of the planets and also just how to appease them in general and then they make the best of the situation, you know. And if you don't care, you don't want to, that's fine. You know, I don't make people do nothing. But, you know, it can give people some understanding of what they need to do to fix the situation. So, hey, Chris, I need the preemptive info so I can dodge all the fuck. That's what I'm saying, you know. People have to get above all of that energy so that way they can be prepared for what they need to do, you know. And like I tell people, like I always tell my clients, if you like it, I love it. You know, if I tell you don't wear this color or don't go this direction and you still want to because you feel comfortable, I'm okay with that. But as long as you can be prepared for whatever comes after. So, I, I, it doesn't bother me. I, I'm here to support people's spiritual journeys no matter where they decide to take it. Um, but as long as you can deal with it, um, <laughs> that's fine. The healing era under the North Node post eclipse, yes, and there's also like some healing dynamics too with Chiron because I'm also thinking about coming up with some material and I might do a stream on like on Patreon or something like that because I on YouTube I am going to still have some shorter streams that are going to be as in depth like three, four, five, six hours about stuff because a lot of that content, like the deep content, the worksheets and stuff like that, like how I used to on Patreon, that's going back to Patreon. So I'm I'm going to be um making more shorter streams over here all that deep dive stuff with that and then also i'll be starting the book club up and books and stuff like that definitely going over there but um i already have like thoughts on chiron because chiron technically has some generational dynamics that goes on with it and how it performs as like a um an asteroid so it does have some generational things so there's some people with chiron and aries that it can have dynamics with um typically between like grandchildren and grandparent dynamics just because of its circular the way it orbits so like your grandparents can have a chiron in a certain sign and then the child has like the grandchild has it and then i think that's also why some people like having issues sometimes with grandparents child dynamics because they kind of just get you typically they get each other because of just how some of these placements are like generationally um how the outer planets work how Chiron works and Chiron is supposed to build a bridge out into the outer planets so it builds a bridge out into like generational planets so I'm definitely going to write that especially since like all of these eclipses have been centering around Chiron and where we can integrate or really learn from things that we, we we have gained wisdom from but it makes us uncomfortable you know it's not like Jupiter with Jupiter we gain wisdom from and we can feel secure in the um the information it's it's you know, Mercury is intelligence, Jupiter is wisdom, which is higher than intelligence, and then um, Chiron is something else. It's like almost spiritual, like it's on some other ish. Um, I have not been wearing white, like you told me. Hopefully, it's everything been going smooth because some of y'all can't wear certain colors. 
you know like y'all wear certain colors like i mean you can wear it but if you can if you prepare i got you get the pepper spray ready you good yeah especially with Cameron. yeah so it is like such a magical experience and just really seeing like how much people have really healed from stuff now i will say for the um people really still going through things um this week you might find out how much you have not healed or moved past certain stuff or how much things have still made you feel uncomfortable sorry to hear about that but most people should feel very secure and um because the sun is like stronger than rahu or the north node where they could present illusions about who you thought you were you know so there should be some things wrapping up with that but yeah i'm definitely going to work on a whole separate thing for the rainbow bridge chiron because it got its own vibe going on hey final uh, between that and then like starting up the book club um and seeing what i want to do with that because there's some books i read that i feel like are really dope and i really want to share them with um with you guys especially on patreon the book club it was on patreon and discussing the material on there um and just seeing like how people also like felt about the material um as well but yeah i thought that was real real interesting and just some I think also like some review stuff too so i know a lot of people ask me like what do i read what do i do for fun or watch for fun and so some people want to know what shows i've been watching and stuff like that mm, I, I would probably put some of that on page on youtube like just about what i like what i don't like but some of the more deeper dive stuff i'm putting on patreon so definitely getting into um like more of the tea and stuff like that because some stuff i just I really can't sh sh like always show so I have to like really go back to like some of the other like private streams where we used to be in a cut and then gagging on some stuff so like mm, yeah it could unmask the Rahu placement in certain aspects as well yeah and Rahu is only it's like an influence and it creates offensiveness so people can't offensively deal with ego who they are as a person create a fire maybe offensively deal with the idea of like what what brought you close together with forms of sense of unity slowly is changing into um maybe ideas around being a jilted lover and all these other stuff too so just a lot of stuff that just goes on and run the gambit with the idea of aries because one of the constellation in aries where rahu is is um the constellation of pegasus which is still a hero placement but the hero begin uh, some parts of um aries but hero begin after but that whole Pegasus thing. And then another part is um, Cetus, which is the sea monster. So some of y'all be having like, that's, I feel like that's some of the little raggedy parts of Aries. They like a little bit demonic. Mm. But you know, like some of y'all begin, begin effed up because some of y'all have the Pegasus placement. You know, all Aries ain't tough. Some of the Aries be having the powder puff uh, constellations and they be getting beat up. They do. You know, most of the time when I see an Aries and they get and they get washed, I notice their their Aries placements lean into Pegasus or something else. They be getting drugged. Cause some people be like, cause some of y'all are riding off the coast of the the demonic like uh, sea monster that um almost ate Andromeda. Some of y'all be dick riding a little bit, but all of y'all don't got that. Some all of y'all not tough like that. That's why a lot of y'all notice a lot of um Aries be singing R and B, cause they be getting beat up. Because it's like a constellation of Aries that's their real jilted lovers. That's why they can really sing their ass off. Marvin Gaye, Aretha Franklin, Mariah Carey. That's why they really be in the groove, really just singing. Because they be getting toured up. Like it's a star called like the jilted lover and it's in Aries. And they every time I see that, I say, and they also make them good at poetry. So they can get like beat up and then they write about how their boyfriend tore their wig up. That girl cheated on them and then they make a hit. I'm for real. And then there's a part of Aries that give people like, um public performance so they like after they got tore up they can go in the public and people be like yeah that's some hot shit <laughs> it's true it's true like that's i think people be like yeah they tough i'm like no the aries be getting tore up you know i, I know how them how those stores run through i'm like mm, mm, you know I'm watching X-Men 97. Uh, I'm watching that too. It is so good. It is so good. And you know what? I can't. I don't want to get too much into it because I don't want to be a person that spoils stuff. But it is so good. Also, um, I, I feel like we need to have a conversation about Jean Grey and her uh, identity crisis always. She always having an identity crisis. I'm starting to think that she is a... um 
a paired sign you know a person who has the duplicitous sign so it's like she's either because you know like signs like pisces or gemini like they're paired signs so they always pair off with somebody libra i because it's always somebody be like i'm jean gray i'm possessing you i'm uh, all of the it's always something with jean gray and actually i have something fun that we want to do and this is going to be like for every tier I'm gonna when we start talking about the shows and stuff, cause I can't always put something live on here, cause you know they'll flag it for um, copyright. Even though I'm not really trying to steal, I just want y'all to see something. I actually feel like we want to start guessing people's zodiac signs based off of their little cartoons, like who y'all, who y'all, or like or on a show. We'd be like, who y'all? What y'all think they are? Y'all think they are Pisces? They blah blah. Cause we about to do Jane Gray because. Jean Grey, somebody always trying to say they the real Slim Shady with her, or they trying to possess her on some demon-ish. Every time. I really feel like Jean Grey is have a, always fainting. Yes, I really feel like she's a Pisces, or she could be a Cancer. Or, like, she has some Cancer, like, maybe Saturn thing. Because usually when I see people, like, on some medical astrology stuff, when I see Cancer in the 10th house or MC, these people be having, like, they be having fainting spells or some type of moon tenth house thing. I don't, mm, mm, mm. That's what all I'm gonna say. And um, I also don't like that when Jean Grey she be having them little splits. Some of the girls, some of the ops that be um her, they be uh they don't be always having the best names or whatever, you know. But yeah, that and like I was sitting down watching it with uh Prince and Sam, and I really forgot how much you know. A Wolverine kept trying to backdoor the situation like he always kept trying to slide on Jean and you know how he, he is so toxic like when the you know what I can't even get into it you know what because I don't know who didn't watch it and who did watch it I don't want to spoil you stuff for people but I was just like I didn't really notice it until Prince pointed it out and I was like you know what you right he is a little ghetto little something so yeah um no problem, JMI official. I, I'm so um, glad I had the reading. I had a lot of fun with y'all in these readings. Well, most of y'all, because some of y'all had some real stuff. But, like, I had a lot of fun doing these um, readings. They were so, so much fun. And I, I really am just, like, very blessed that I have, you know, the people that I have. And I was able to help people. Like, I really been enjoying it, you know. And I'm glad I've been there for, to help people. Because some people really just don't have it, you know. So, I'm still doing the pay what you can. The pay what you can is indefinite. You know, so it's just an ongoing, and it's a, a, a method for people who really just don't have it, and they really do need help. Because some people really do need help. Like, they really shot the hell up, and they just don't have it. Um, I would say I've been blessed where I haven't had anybody that really didn't have it. They had it, and they tried to, like, slide on you. You know, I most of the people that had it, they just paid or they felt in their heart to pay. And then people who really didn't have it, they were just honest about it. Like, I've never had nobody lie. You know what? I had one person do it, and y'all, you know, I can't even get into the tea. I might just save it for Patreon. You know? But I only had one person that did it, and y'all, they was not even broke. They was not even broke. They was not even broke. They wasn't, I, I can't even, like, I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because sometimes, y'all, rich people be weird. And that's all I'm going to say. They, they were not even broke. It was weird. Like, I feel like the regular normies, they really understand better. Okay. Theater of the Sir, I've been watching the show going. I have not watched it. I don't even... I don't think I watched the original, so I'm kind of torn if I should just watch the original or watch this new the new show going that they have split, mm. I, or just jump in. I really just can't decide what to do. Um, Aries is the voice of the afflicted. Facts as Artica. Aries is really that girl. Like that's why that's why the R&B be knocking. Actually, R&B is for the cardinal sign girls. I notice all the R like I you know I might make a whole stream about. Um, music and the astrology that go with some of the music but usually when I see cardinal signs Capricorn Libra Aries and Cancer these people want to be singing some R&B now it's going to be different R&B though um but it's different so like the Libra R&Bs like um Ashante and like Usher is different from like Aretha Franklin and Mariah, they, Mariah Carey and Marvin Gaye like this different like they just and once I point out the styles differences, you like you right. It is like it is a different like 
you know, vibe on it. It is. Like, they just got their own thing going on. Um, Village, what you suggest to help me be more? Thank you. I'm so glad you feel better, you know. You know, take care of yourself. I'm glad you feel better. You know, I'm glad. I actually was thinking about you today because I was like, you know what? I should go see if that person, if it worked out for them. You know, if it worked out for you, um, what I had suggested. But I'm glad you all patched up, you know. So that's another thing, guys. I do um, suggest, like, herbs and stuff for people. You know, when I look at their chart and I look at stuff, I'm like, okay, you need to take this. You need to take this based off of your chart. I try not to give things to people just randomly. I, I give, if I suggest you herbs, it's based off of what you got in your chart. There's a few things that I suggest universally, but because it can, it can factor in with, like, more than one thing. But I don't just... There's only a few things that I do it like that. But most of the time, if I look at your chart and I see something, I'm like, you need to go take bop, 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 because that's what's wrong with your, like, that's how your thing is set up. And sometimes when, because your charts are, like, set up like it's, like, too much water, too much air, that can also get into, like, why you keep having recurrent situations. It's sometimes nothing really wrong with you. It's just that sometimes you're, um... You have too much of certain elements in your chart and there's not enough balance or harmony so sometimes you seek it out with other people relationships or you people get into trouble and um y'all just need to rebalance in um the elements in your chart and your chi and y'all will be fine you know most people once i tell them you need to take blah 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 all their problems well most of them let me say this usually goes down because sometimes um the chart tries to recalibrate the best way it can so like let's just say you don't have that much water but you have one water placement and it's like a demonic placement so that means that they can be you know demonic emotions depression that will be considered demonic or you can get into messed up relationships as a way to like recalibrate the water in your chart and so I try to we try to appease the planets or the energy by offering more of it or in other activities that you can tap into it or colors or different things. So that way um, it's not a temptation to use that that demonic placement that way. You know, if you do it after that, that's your business. But if I tell you how to get out of there and you still go, like, you know, that's on you. But I, that's how you that's how you retweak a chart that's lopsided. You tell them to do something to trigger it outside of the demonic placement. Uh, but, yeah. She always be fainting. Yes, Jean always be fainting. I really feel like she has some brain problems. That's why I feel like she's a cardinal sign. Cardinal sign, um, I don't feel like she's a Virgo because she's just not organized to me. She's just nothing never, never, never makes sense. I feel like she's a cardinal sign and possibly a mutable sign. I don't feel like she's a Virgo because she's not that sneaky. And she not, like, let me say, like, cunning. Like, I don't really feel like, when I watch, I don't even feel like no cunning, nothing. You know, and she be always getting got sometimes. Even though she got all this power, she get got. Like, that give me, like, Pisces antics. Like, a Pisces can be, like, dope, and then they get beat up somewhere. You be like, how, girl? How they get you? They got you out the bathroom? Like, it just don't make sense. So, I be doing that a lot lately. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Jean got the Phoenix Force, Madeline, uh, Pride, plus Wolverine stuff, and Mrs. Simmons. That's why I say we have to figure out what Jean Grey sign is because she always got something wild on her. Like, I feel like she is a duplicitous sign, like mutable, like Pisces, Libra, Gemini, something where it's like more than one of them ninjas. Because there's always somebody like, I'm the real Jean Grey or Jean, let's get together. I actually think I know what Storm sign is because Storm, even though she's like really strong and bold, all of the people be on her. Like that everybody trying to get on her and they always trying to like worship her. So I feel like she could, you know, possibly be a Venus sign, but I also feel like she could possibly be like a Capricorn too. We'll see. Or like a Scorpio. Something like we have like a dark magnetism because she scared people but they be like into it. Like, I don't know. Mm. We'll see. Um but yeah, Jean Grey in between two men is why she got a dual personality. <laughs> probably, probably, you know. But I don't know, because they be saying Libras be uh be letting people back door them. I'm not here to say that, you know, I've never dated a Libra, but some people feel like Libras struggle with that. Sometimes they feel like Pisces too, or uh, Gemini. Well, really Gemini. I heard Gemini men in particular. People who, who went over there and tried to date them. They say they struggled. Um, I feel like Cyclops is a Sage. Cyclops be too uptight to be a Sage. 
I feel like Cyclops, because he sometimes is a tight wad. I feel like something he's something like a little bit more edgier than that. He's such a tight wall. Spoil it. Spoil the show. That's funny. Um, Scorpio, pay hey, as you go. You basically just um message me at um 410-705-5305 or um at the dummies cauldron um uh the dummies cauldron at gmail and we'll just basically you just basically pay me whatever and i'll just set up a reader you just have to tell me when you're available that's it that's it but yeah i never really had nobody like try to like play me like that with with this you know like they people been like pretty like just straight up and down um some people need help not a lot of people need help exactly because like to be fair theater that there are certain parts in the chart that rule like the downtrodden and the outcast out the outcast or the um people of lower um classes and sometimes people get bad karma because they're helping people that don't need help like that they're not technically considered an outcast or underclass they are um they're not that so, like, if you have it in your chart where you're supposed to help people or be ch uh, give charity to people, if these people aren't the outclass or underclass, then what are you doing over there? At that point, you're just enabling. You're supposed to actually need help people that actually need help. So, that's why sometimes people get bad karma because they're not helping people that need help. And I will also say this. There's some people that... um that you're not supposed to help people because the whatever's going on with them is their karma that they're supposed to understand and sometimes people's karma and curses jump onto you by trying to help other people get out of their situations you know because sometimes people are, are trapped in um dynamics and they chart and they don't know how to get out and then you help them and then it kind of rub off on you or they resent you for helping them versus them trying to figure it out so everybody don't and plus some people have trust where they don't some people's trust they're not supposed to give charity or like help like that i've seen charts where they people some people aren't supposed to do like extra service they get in trouble and i've seen them like every time they try to do do that somebody bite their hand like some people just don't have trust like that so the person's finance is going to get attacked no comment <laughs> no comment but i i definitely that was the only time it was very mad weird um no it's bad when you when you do pay what you can and you be like damn you be losing a lot of money you need to pay what you can't exactly like i i don't get it you know like y'all need help you know it's some people that need help some people just don't need help like that my chart is weird because it's almost equaled out all uh, element wise that's good but you gotta see if it's like all uh, what is malefic and what isn't because technically the sun is like it technically is a malefic but not at the same time so like depending where people have stuff out at is like it, it could be equal but it could be equal with like okay if you're equal all elements earth fire air and water but what if all your fire signs have all demon placements or all malefics so like will you get the your drive or your sense to go on is from the the de demonic realm or from like realms that's not like you know every day so this can be like unruly temper taking too many risks or like risks that are like out of control so like the planets there and the quality or the strength of the planets because you can cal calculate how strong a planet is will tell you if it's appropriate there so that being equal is like half the battle. The other half is like, what is what is equaling this to get to this? You know, because if you have a weak planet equaling it out, it's like, okay, it's not strong here or it's demonic. And then it's, it still will give you affliction. It's still what we consider like afflicted. Cyclops of Virgo. Yes, because he never calmed down. He's very much a tight wall or a Taurus. I, I agree with the um, Earth signs because he, I thought a Capricorn, but it is giving Earth because he's definitely a tight wall. Like, he just really cannot chill at all. Sound like me. I get it. You know, helping people for free 99 but they got to deserve it, you know. But, yeah, I always thought that Cyclops was, like, it's giving Earth, like, very tight wall energy. 
you know, like he wears tidy whities like very square all the way around, you know. So, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Any more questions? Because this is just like a quick live. Um, I'm just filling everybody in. I'm just still doing pay what you can. A lot more stuff on the Patreon. I do have, a, like I said, a string coming up with Saturn and Venus and Mars. And we're talking about the Saturn, Venus, Mars cycle for the next couple of years. And I'll be working on some worksheets on that, amongst some other stuff for people and other people's packages and stuff. Um, so that should be coming out. Um, soon i should be getting that up and running and then i'll be doing the pay what you can and on here i still will be doing stuff on here but it just won't be as long or as in depth um so i'll be going to patreon with some of the stuff so like really we could just really like kiki and gag how we like really supposed to and how we really want to and we can start getting into stuff like we could go we could talk about how jean gray be falling and or how they made jean gray butt flat like i can't get on here with with that like i can't sit up here and talk like this that's gonna flag my video I cannot talk about Jean Grey butt being flat, you know, which is funny because it's like technically it's supposed to be child appropriate. But when we was little, they was uh, drawing Jean Grey with cheeks like that's funny, but I can't really get into that. You know, I appreciate you. Thank you, uh, Theta. I had a lot of fun with you. That reading was so much fun. Do you look into the thing that I sent? Oh, yes. I have been looking into it a little bit. I realized that um, Sin had taught me about it before. I just never knew what it was. So she was telling me about like the um, generator and uh, stuff like that. I never knew it was called. Um... See, I forgot it again that quick. And I keep forgetting the name every time somebody told me. And you know what, um, Chris? You were, you was the first person that said it. I had another reading where somebody else had brought it up. Human design. There you go. Somebody brought it up to me again. And I was like, dang, y'all must, I got to see, um, I thought about comparing y'all charts. I said, I have to see who has, like, the chart or the energy that people will be into human design. Because I'm like, I might have to compare people's charts and see where they got to see who would be, like, into human designs and stuff. Because sometimes I do that. I'm like, yeah, y'all all got this going on. Like, y'all kind of have a vibe. Like, y'all will be into something like that. But, yeah, you was, like, you was the first person that did it. But, yeah, I, I didn't know what it was called when she was trying to teach it to me. I'm like, okay, a protractor. She said a projector. I said a protractor, subtraction, generate. I was like, I don't, I I didn't know what she was saying. It made sense. It, it didn't sound, like, wrong to me, but I just did not remember um, what she was saying. You know, I didn't know what the name was called. So, that's why when you brought it up, I was like, huh? And then I was like, you know what? She did send me something like this. And I did not know the name then. And then you told me again. And I still forgot. <laughs> I still forgot what it was called. And then somebody told me after you. And I still forgot again. I said, well, I, at this point, I just have to get the book or something. But, yeah. Any questions, y'all? Because I'm about to hop on off of here. That is true. It's the universe telling you something. It is the universe. Like, I need to read the book. <laughs> It is. Because I'm like, I keep forgetting. Hmm. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. You know, happy Mercury retrograde. Hopefully, y'all not getting caught up in the shenanigans. You know, y'all take care. I have some more stuff coming out for the Patreon. And y'all, I'll keep y'all posted. Also, on here, y'all make sure y'all always check the community tab. I'm always posting stuff in the community me tab over here about stuff going on. I'll um, also be getting back into my Instagram and um, posting stuff over there. Um, and on the Patreon, we have a, a, a group chat, so I'll be dumping some stuff in there um, on the group chat that I probably would just will not post on here. So um, I did look at the charts of uh, Joe Budden, Scotty Bean, and Ari Linux, and I did see a correlation of like some issues that he might not like in the, a chart or that he has issues with certain things in the chart with people but i will not just be discussing now in public i'll just put it on the patreon and we'll just kiki about like i'm like uh i see a vibe you know it's just they just don't get along so we'll be putting stuff on there and just typing up stuff or whatever but you know y'all stay tuned you know and i'll see y'all later bye